Okay, I just wanted to show the schematic I was using in the last video. Um, so the battery, 1.2 volts. It's got some uh, ferrite beads that it's going through. It's like a component ferrite. Um, something like 29 ohms at so many megahertz. Uh, I've got a big uh, 16 volt capacitor across that, which does uh, filter quite a bit. And um, other, without that, the uh, lights actually go dim, and uh, the current goes up because uh, of the AC going all over the place. Uh, so, uh, one ohm resistor here, that's the waveform that we get across that. And 22 microhenry choke, one mega ohm resistor, the primary is hooked up just as you see it. Top of the coil had to hook to the bottom uh, because I think they have to be uh, kind of out of phase or whatever. They're all wound the same direction, however. So the taps I can adjust on the primary. I can also adjust the capacitance uh, up to 360 picos. It's not quite at the limit. Uh, when you tune it you want to set that in the middle so that you're not maxed out and you have the ability to adjust and um, this is the emitter base feedback I was talking about so there's an LED with two 1N4148 diodes going to the base and then also parallel to that I've got that 12 microhenry uh, coil with the 400 picos in series and that's also doing this and I've got a, a program now that uh, the same one that backup CPU is using and it's a really great program uh, it's called every circuit and I think it might be only available on uh, the iPad but anyway it's a really good program uh, but the thing is with this it's absolutely critical, and it was, uh, you know, through tuning this, you could get some uh, some action going here. But uh, in the simulation, these have actually no effect, no matter what parameters I set. So there's something about this that uh, the simulator can't can't figure out or realize is happening. Anyway, uh, so this plate is the aluminum plate. And that's uh, connected one wire to the Avramenko plug, two 4148 diodes, one forward and back, and the load's all in series, and it just compels it to go like this, and uh, meets the low potential here. So, adjusting this, adjusting these, and adjusting that. Um, even the ferrites and the capacitor <coughs> were all pretty critical without the choke um, I haven't actually tried it without the choke but uh, <coughs> anything in a DC circuit uh, can benefit from having some kind of choke that can store and return energy and um, uh, this is the waveform on the on the output, and you can read the same thing all throughout here. <coughs> and uh, that indicator LED is the one that kind of dims when these pick up and picks up when these go dim, indicating that there's some kind of added stress when it's out of tune. And um, earth ground, that was uh, critical as well. The transistor is the MPSA06, and uh, I think I've gone all the way around. It ends up being 1.6 megahertz, which is nice. It's uh, just below uh, the FM band, and the length of the inductor is two and a half times the diameter. So that's uh. I wasn't too concerned about turns. I was just looking at the geometry of the of the coil. So 
Um, 22 turns secondary, 4 turns is what I had the tap on. And mm, don't know how many turns, but uh, it's, uh, you know, 2.5 times the diameter. And then you just figure out whatever that rings at and tune the rest to to the resonator which can also be manipulated with its capacitance up here and uh, like I showed before too close is no good too far is also no good so that tells me that it's uh, it's adjusting the capacitance and that's about it talk to you guys later